calcination begins in alchemy. I am approaching the calcination in this work. As we can see, it is a white, waxy looking substance. It is purging itself by giving out a thick steam or vapor. See the writings of Michael Sindivogius. A dryness, calcination begins. Is it also inseration? Calcination fixes matter. It removes volatile substances, burns off impurities. Will we see color changes? Will the matter volatize? Or will it remain fixed? in the bottom of the alchemist glass. Some alchemists said that this begins the writing, the in the old alchemical writings that this begins the flight of the eagles that dryness will begin the first stage of alchemy, the first of the seven steps of alchemy, which is calcination. And will mark the start of what is called the flight of the eagles. According to the old alchemical manuscripts, the matter should go through ten flights of the eagles. That means 10 calcinations, 10 imbibitions. When the matter reaches dryness, it is wetted again. See the rec herm, recreation hermetiques. bubbling like unto the eyes of fishes. Some of the matter has adhered to the sides of the glass. Once again see the writings of Michael Sindibogius. When he said its first appearance is that of oily water, which adheres to all things. Regarding his writing on the first matter of metals in the new chemical light, the first matter of metals is twofold, and one without the other cannot create a metal. Its first appearance is that of oily water, which adheres to all things. This is old alchemy. From the first five centuries, Maria the Prophetess, Sosimos of Panopolis, even Cleopatra, Hermes himself was said to have preferred the simple 
older methods as compared to early modern alchemy such as that of George Ripley in his work on the metal acetate path of alchemy which is a much different work see the writings of Sendivogius where he explains that if Hermes were to enter the laboratory of the early modern alchemists he would be a mere student in their myriad works as compared to his older and more simpler methods wherein Michael Sendivogius wrote that Hermes with his simple methods had a knack for creating the Philosopher's Stone and that perhaps there was something to be desired in those early simple methods something that the early modern alchemists perhaps feared away from or overlooked which is not to say that the early modern alchemists work was not important because it, alchemy has many aspects there's the three realms of alchemy animal mineral and plant but then there's also the issue of crystals gemstones transmutations many myriad aspects of alchemy and as such alchemists invented a great many things that modern science and chemistry benefits from today including discoveries in metallurgy dyes and textiles acids the making of glass and laboratory glassware all these things were said to have come from the alchemists and traced back to the father of alchemy Hermes he was credited with the discovery of astronomy astrology metallurgy mathematics a great many things And now, we are reaching dryness, very close, very close, just a tiny bit of bubbling in the heat, the heat is hot. A drop came from the Vigro column. Now, a little bubbling like unto the eyes of fishes. Very close to dryness. The matter on the sides of the glass seems dry and fixed, no longer volatile.
the matter looking molten and fusible like wax. Interesting to see the words of the ancient sages in their alchemical manuscripts actually coming to life in the glass. To see the experiments after all the years of study contemplation and experimentation to see the light of the truth the white stone of alchemy was said to be associated with silver and known by the moon symbol. Look at the changes occurring. The flight of the eagles has begun. We are in calcination at this time. In alchemy, this is considered a white stone, a stone yet no stone, white and fusible like wax. Calcination is the first of the seven steps of alchemy and begins the great work. The seven steps of alchemy will represent one flight of the eagle And now, all the old manuscripts make sense, such as the Actum Laden letter, the writings of Michael Sendivogius, and many others. The Recreation Hermetiques, the Mutus Liber, Wordless picture book, Splendor Solace. In the writings of Michael Sendivogius, he described his knowledge of the great work and finished with, further than this his knowledge does not go. But his knowledge was deep. Not everyone makes it this far in alchemy. But this is an interesting point. Because among those who make it this far, very few make it farther.
even if we take this to 10 flights of the eagles. How many will know what is after that? Read the writings of Nicholas Flamel. And he will tell you that people that make it this far are not, not everyone makes it this far and that of those who do, most will not progress farther than this. Even though I have explained this matter and this video contains many clues if you listen to the words that I have spoken you will see you will find that I have revealed the secret are these secrets of this portion of the work after the ten flights of the eagles it's a whole new ball game And we see the calcination occurring. The matter melts like wax, yet remains fixed. Which means that it is time for an imbibition. This is Alchemy of Stephen's School. Do not try this at home not for consumption. This video does not constitute advice of any type, nor is it intended for any specific person. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.